Hi there. Are you stuck in your network marketing business? Are you struggling? My name's Alan Bean and in today's video I'm going to cover that with you and show you how you can change yourself to make yourself unstuck and being successful in your business. So join us after this brief intro. So are you stuck in your business? Welcome back. Now, in network marketing, there are numbers of reasons that can cause you problems in your business, but there are a couple of things that will really make you stuck in your business. And the first one is when you compare yourself to the leaders in the business, and it makes you feel sad, it makes you feel frustrated. Why are they so good at, and I, I just can't be, I must be doing something wrong, it must be me. I'm not doing it right, what's wrong with me? And the second reason is, you see these same people and you think, well, if they're succeeding, they must be doing something unethical. Their morals must be a bit, you know, dodgy. They might not be spending much time with the children. They might not be looking after the wife. They're obviously not, not nice people. They may seem to be, but they're obviously not as nice people as they make themselves out to be. Now, if that rings true to yourself, you're not alone. That is 90% of people get stuck, have that sort of thing going on in the back of their mind. So what's wrong with that? Well, for that to be your thoughts, your brain is thinking on one particular manner. It's saying that having wealth and having the ethics can never be joined. They have to be separate. You're either wealthy or you're ethical, which means you're poor. And that's the battle that you've got going. But if you actually look into majority of the people who are leaders, you'll find that they've struggled in some manner. There's been something in their life that's been nasty. It could be that they've been made bankrupt twice. They've had foreclosure, as the Americans call it. They could be the fact that uh, they've had the house repossessed. They've slept in cars. There's one person I know of who went for an interview and had a shower under a drain pipe. You know, there are lots and lots of reasons that they may have struggled. And when you come down to it, you may not be struggling as much as some of them. You may be struggling even more. But they've been there. They have been. And yet they've gone from that to that wealthy position. So wealth and being ethical, getting a bit closer. They've had to be busy. They've had to look after it. And they can now spend their time with the children. They can now give to charity because they've put the effort in to get there. And they haven't walked on people. They've had to work hard doing exactly what they've told you to do. But that doesn't make sense for some people. So I'm gonna show you a little thing that I've drawn up and it is literally a little thing. And if you can see that, right? If I go through this with you, You've got two main lines, the bottom line there and that line there. Now, your mind, and this is a physiological fact, is designed to keep you in stasis, to keep you working at a certain level of quality, building yourself up, keeping yourself healthy, etc. That's what the brain is there for. That's what the body's immune system is there for. It's not to get you over energetic or under energetic, it's to keep you about the right level. I eat that line going through the middle. But what happens in life is you'll have times where you're doing extremely well and times that you're doing extremely bad. Then you'll have better times and then slightly worse times and it bounces up and down as life goes on. But the brain is designed to keep you within certain barriers and it may push them slightly but it doesn't move them far. The only way to actually get past that and start to rise up into the higher levels is change. I know that might appear backwards on your screen, but that says change. And that dotted line there isn't fixed. So how do you go about it? Well, you've got to change something you're doing. And that takes effort. That takes a lot of effort. The person who was having showers underneath a drain pipe, do you think he wanted to be there? No. He had to make a change, he had to do something about it. And he stuck with it 
and it got there. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen the film Happiness with Will Smith in it, uh, which is a true story about somebody who was on rock bottom with his kid, ended up sleeping in a toilet in a tube station and made it very, very successful at the end of the day without treading on people, with just putting extra effort in than other people. How did he do it? He forced himself to change. He did that by learning, reading when other people were going out having a drink, um, by just basically putting the effort in. And you may have seen on other videos I've mentioned about uh, five steps to motivate yourself and things like that. These are the things that people do to get there. They have to change. Remember, your mind is set not to change. You've got to make it change. And when you do, the limits are gone. That's the benefit. That top limit is then open. I mean, you can think of, I'm sure you can think of many people who have made multi-millions, entrepreneurs that have worked excessively hard and come from nowhere to do so. Or they've been through extreme hardship. Oh, just have a look at your upline. There'll be people there. Hopefully that's given you a little bit of understanding why you could be stuck. It's not all your fault. It is the fact that your mind is designed to keep you stuck. And you've got to break it. It takes effort. There are ways of doing it. And uh, one of the things that I teach is something called a mental bank, which we can cover another time. But... You can change this. There are many, many ways of doing it. And basically what I will say is, if you've got any questions, if you need to get a bit of guidance, find out if you're on the right track, if you need to change things to move forward, don't be afraid to send us an email or contact us or have a look at the website, alanandcarolinebean.com and we'll go through as much as I can with you and hopefully get you up and running. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll look forward to speaking to you on the next video. Bye for now.